This is our video number second on indirect material procurement cycle in SDP. And uh, in this video, we are going to record, we are going to issue a purchase requisition. So, to create the requisition, either we're going to use the transaction code, which is ME51N, or you can use the SAP menu part. We need to go in logistics. In logistics, we have materials management. In materials management, we have uh, purchasing, and in purchasing, we have purchase requisition. So there, we need to select our purchase requisition. The code is ME51N. The document type for the purchase requisition, which is NP, which is used for standard purchase requisition. This, uh, this is the document type. So while creating purchase requisition for indirect material we need to enter the account assignment category which is cape uh, the cost center we need to mention the short tax the quantity unit of measures delivery date and the plant and under the account assignment tab we need to enter the GL account and the cost center which is a mandatory option which is a mandatory field and uh, if you want to change the purchase requisition we can use the transaction code which is ME52N and you want to display the list of all your purchase requisition we can use the transaction code which is ME53N so how to create this purchase requisition in SAP we need to go in logistics in logistics we have material management in materials management we have purchasing in purchasing we have purchase requisition and from purchase acquisition, we have first option which is ME51M. Double click and our purchase acquisition, this will open. So we don't have a source determination list for this indirect material. So first we're going to enter the account assignment category, which is K, the cost center. No need to enter the material. We need to enter the short text here. So let's assume it that we are ordering repairing toolkit. The quantity we are ordering, let's assume it two. Unit of measures, we're going to use pieces or you can select each. That is the delivery date. You need to select the material group here. So here we're going to select the material group tools. Press tab. You need to enter the plant. Our plant is MD12. Tab and we're going to enter the purchasing group. I'm going to enter M1. Press enter. When we press enter, it will move to this account assignment tab. This is our consumption account. And here we need to select the cost center. So right now, I'm going to enter the cost center, office supplies. Our controlling area is MD12, enter. So I'm going to enter under this office supplies. Okay, so it moved into the valuation because we need to enter the price. So for one tool, it is, let's assume it, 100 dirham, press enter. So then click on this material. That is our material group, which is 01407, which is tools. Here you can select the quantities and dates. So the quantity we are ordering for this repairing toolkit, it is two. Valuation, here we enter the price. That is 100 dirham for each piece for each kit in the account assignment category we enter the GL account number this was uh, this is our business area that is our controlling area and that is a cost center which is a mandatory option and then we have source of supply you can fix a supplier also so we are going to order this repairing toolkit 
from our hardware supplier which is the hardware company Dubai enter so here we assign the source of supply then that is a status contact person that is a tax and that is a delivery address so this is how we are creating a purchase acquisition for indirect material uh, procurement process in SAP so finally I'm gonna check this purchase acquisition so no message issued during the check and then we need to save it this is how we are creating purchase acquisition for indirect material in SAP and our purchase acquisition number is 13743